Well guys, this is the seventh video in the series of Becoming a Paralegal. Be sure you watch every single video, okay, in this series. It's uh, important for your career as you're beginning, okay? So this one is about ambitions, dreams, and hopes. Now dreaming without working towards it um, becomes just a dream. You know, it's it doesn't become reality. So you have to do some things to work toward it. Now, we tend to think that it's going to be the answers to all our troubles by going into a new career. One of the things you have to decide is how is this career going to affect your life, your personal life? What do you need in your life? Not, I'm not just talking about this money. I'm talking about time. In other videos I've posted, I talk about protecting your time. So your career has to be a reflection of the life that you desire, that you're being, you're being pulled to this career for a reason. Again, it can't just be about money. And you don't have to sacrifice your evenings or weekends for this career. Yes, there are people that would like you to sacrifice that, but my advice is not to work for them. And that's why in the interview, when you get called in, you have to ask questions about the culture of that workplace because they're not going to put that in the ad. And so asking questions is vitally important. And I go over that in the paralegal inner circle class, okay? So what kind of work embraces the kind of life that you want and what kind of workplace you're like well Leslie I know what kind of work I want to be a paralegal then what kind of workplace will embrace that kind of lifestyle you don't want to work nights and you really shouldn't unless it's a flat-out emergency or weekends okay so there is not one you know predictable or one path to your career where it's like okay now I'm set um, I had somebody message me the other day and just like me had to switch workplaces to get what that person wanted because in the beginning we don't really know and honestly I had no knowledge of the legal field 31 years ago there was no information I could look at the only book that was out was the legal secretary's handbook which is a good handbook but I needed a lot more answers than than that book gave me at that time and I had to just go in and find out for myself so your uniqueness and no, that doesn't mean oddity. Your uniqueness and your past work history will play into the paralegal career. Did I ever think that as 16 years old, that working as a cashier in a supermarket and in New Jersey, that I would become a paralegal in Oklahoma in my 30s? No, I had no idea. I know I had aunts, an aunt at that time, one aunt who worked uh, downtown in Patterson, New Jersey for attorneys as a legal secretary. There was no such thing as a paralegal, okay? A anybody who went into that field was a legal secretary. So what are you bringing to the table? What do you know how to do? How does your current job make you feel, if you're not in the legal field, make you feel that it's, it is or is not your calling. And why is the paralegal field your calling? Okay, I did a video on that the other day, so watch that video in this series. What would your work, your everyday work, consist of? What do you see in your mind as, as what you will be doing, okay? And then ask yourself, write these down, what is stopping you from going forward? What is that stop sign in front of you? Is it fear, doubt? Is it you think they only hire people with experience? Not true. Um, so what can you do today 
to move you forward into that career? Are you currently or have you in the past sent out your resume and cover letter and nobody responded? Well, I got to tell you, that could be simply because, number one, your cover letter did nothing but introduce your resume and that's not what it's for. Or you applied for jobs and asking for three to seven years experience and that's a waste of their time and a waste of your time, okay, to apply f to those jobs. Okay, your the degree doesn't make you eligible for those jobs. And the office manager who's looking over those resumes and cover letters, as well as the hiring attorney, knows that. So you have to get down to what I call brass tacks. You have to ask yourself, what do I know how to do to help the attorney right now? How can I help the attorney? So if you keep hesitating, all of the skill sets you currently have, which can, which can be used in the law firm right now, will just take you down a path where it's not, it's not taking you to the job because that doubt and fear becomes overwhelming. And you, if you think that the end of that learning is with the degree or the certificate, um, and that they should be hiring you, what you're missing is that you don't know how to apply for the job and you don't know how to grab the hiring attorney's attention or and or the office manager's attention because what they wanna see is, what do you know how to do? How are you gonna help us when you get here? They don't train, even if the ad says they do, they don't train. They might work with you for two weeks sporadically, but that no one has that time. So don't be under that illusion, okay? That those words we offer training puts in your mind. That is not happening. And then you're left on your own. So what's the solution? Well, one of the solutions is what I say in a lot of my videos. I want you to go to Google and I want you to put in paralegal duties for blank law, family law, whatever ads you're seeing, not the dream job that you want to have, the ads that are being published that are offering jobs, okay? They will hire people with zero experience but you have to impress them with some knowledge. You know, and people who assume that there's training, that's what stops them. That, oh, they're gonna train me, so, you know, I don't need to go further. Yeah, you need to go further. You have to communicate better with the hiring attorney and the office manager. How will you hit the ground running when you start that job on day one? So. If you have an opportunity to take the Paralegal Inner Circle class or the Cover Letter Secrets class, yes, they're my classes, but I developed them for these reasons, because people get stuck. Someone contacted me about a year ago and said, they're all hiring experience. They are, you don't understand. Oh yes, I understand. But I had to get past that as well. They wouldn't hire me because I came into Florida from another state. And they thought I couldn't read the rules in Florida for, para, not for paralegals, but the rules of civil procedure. So I had to understand how to get around barriers in my cover letter. And that's why I developed those two classes. So if you're stuck, if you will throw away that notion that you're not good enough or everybody else is smarter than you, that's not true. If you'll throw away that notion that um, that the degree alone or the certificate alone will open the door, that doesn't always happen because they know what you don't know and you need to add to that. And you need to talk about it, what you've learned. So I hope this is helpful to you. Come join me in either of those two classes. The first step is to get my book legal break in look at that, take notes, make sure that you're up to par with Word, Microsoft Word, 
Second step is paralegal inner circle class. The third step is the cover letter secrets class. Then you have to draft that cover letter and you have to figure out what, how am I going to help this attorney to the max and impress them, okay? So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this series. I had a blast doing it. There'll be more series coming up down the road, more videos. Uh, be sure that you come into the Paralegal Resources Hub. There'll be a link. Um, well, you'll see on the Facebook page, Paralegal Coffee Talk. Scroll through and you'll see the Paralegal Resources Hub graphic. Click on the link and um, take advantage of the free information there. You just have to click the link, sign up, and then view that. That's how my platform works, okay? Um, and then, let's see, what else is there? That's about it. So if you have any questions or comments, post them below. In uh, If you're watching on YouTube, simply look in the description box for the links. Okay, they're all there. You look by the title of the video, there'll be a little arrow, you click on that, it opens the description box. Like and subscribe, please, on YouTube or like on Facebook because they'll show the videos to other people who need this info, and I appreciate that very much. Share the videos with other people that maybe you're in class with or that you know want to go into the legal field. Remember, there are three ways to get in the paralegal career. No education or a different type of education. Paralegal degree, two years. Paralegal certificate, three ways that you can get in this career. So don't think anyone is excluded. Okay? It's not all predicated on degrees or certificates. You can get in if you know how to communicate and you learn, learn, and never stop. Have a great day.